Okay, everybody, it's time for Wreck It Peter. Scene one, do we have the wind machine in place? How about the boat? Oh, and where's our star? Ralph, Ralph, where are you? I'm here, Felix. <sighs> ah, there you are, Ralph. Are you ready for our first scene? You bet I am. I can't thank you enough for giving me this opportunity. I mean, wow, Peter the Disciple, what a role. It's a big opportunity for you, Ralph. Wouldn't want to wreck it. I won't, Felix. Trust me. Okay, Ralph. It's time to get in our places. Now, do it just like we practiced, Ralph. Just like we practiced. Got it. Remember, we have a hundred kids watching us. Do not mess it up. Did you say a hundred kids? No pressure, Ralph. And action! Do not fear, for it is I. Fear? Kids? A, a hundred kids? I said... Do not fear, for it is I. They're all staring at me. What Ralph, am I doing here? Ralph, say your line. My line? What's my line? Lord, if it is really you, tell me to walk on the water. Why would I tell you that? You're already walking on water. No, you say that, Ralph. I did say that. You asked me if you can walk on water. How am I going to walk on water? I can't even remember my lines. Ralph! Okay. There's no place like home. May the force be with you. Let it go. I'm Batman. You're Batman? Yeah, I'm gonna wreck it. You already did. Felix, I'm dying here. Help me. Ralph, stop looking at the waves. Look at me. Okay. Lord, if it really is you, tell me to walk on the water. Come. Hey, look at me. I'm walking on the waves. Just like Jesus. Good job, Ralph. Now, look at the waves and start sinking. Are you crazy? No way! But that's the story. I know that's the story, but I also know the lesson. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus, and that's what I'm gonna do! But, Ralph... I took my eyes off you once! I'm sorry, I won't do it again! Ralph, you have to. I won't look at the waves, Jesus! I'm concentrating on you! But I'm not Jesus, Ralph. I'm Felix! Don't say that! I don't want to drown! Well, I think that scene went well. Hi, Kid Zone. I'm Miss Alyssa. Some people seem like they were born to be heroes. Do you know the type of person I'm talking about? It seems like everything they do goes perfectly for them. Like everything they touch turns to gold. They score all the time in soccer. They use all their spelling tests. They get the lead role in the school play. They seem to be a lot like Fix-It Felix. Everybody loves them and praise them for all the great work they do, and it seems like they can never do wrong. I'm gonna guess most of you feel more like Wreck-It Ralph than Fix-It Felix. We may have our days and everything seems to go our way, but more often than not, we have days when nothing goes right. We oversleep our alarm, we don't have time for breakfast, we forgot to do the backside of our homework paper, and we let the guy from the other team score the winning goal we were on defense. And to top it all off, we set that plate on the edge of the counter just far enough that it fell so we broke another of Mom's favorite dishes. Wreck-It Ralph isn't just some video game bad guy. He's all of us. He's everyone who has felt like a goof or a failure. And if you talk to those kids in your life who seem like Fix-It Felix, they're going to tell you they relate more to Ralph than Felix. Just ask them. The good news is that Ralph ended up a hero. And the better news is we can do the same. In this series, we'll be talking about one of Jesus' disciples named Peter. Peter didn't always get it right the first time either, but Peter's life shows us how Jesus can help us go from Wreck-It Ralph to Hero of the Faith. Today we start with a story from the book of Matthew. It begins with Peter and the other 11 disciples out on a boat in a storm, and it ends with a lesson that can help us all put the pieces back together when we wreck it. In Matthew 14, 20 through 33, we learn that the disciples were afraid when they saw Jesus walking on water. They thought he was a ghost. Even after they heard his voice, most of them were still afraid. Give Peter credit. He was the only one who had the courage to not only believe it was Jesus, but to try and walk on the water himself. Peter actually did walk on water at first, but he started to sink as soon as he took his eyes off Jesus. Fortunately for Peter, Jesus is there to catch him and pull him back above the waves. Jesus left no doubt in his disciples' minds that he was the Son of God that day. 
He also left no doubt as to how much they needed him. Yes, Peter wrecked it, but he learned a valuable lesson. Keep your eyes on Jesus and you won't wreck it. <laughs> this probably wasn't Peter's first mess up and it wouldn't be his last, but we will get to see Jesus forgive Peter every time and we'll see Peter grow into a great hero of the faith. In spite of all his wrecks, Peter became the first leader of the Christian church. Peter never became fixed at Felix, but he became a man who kept his eyes on Jesus, and that was enough. We all feel like Peter and Ralph every day. We mess up with our parents, we break a rule at home, we get caught talking at school. How in the world can we even begin to change our wreck it ways? We need to keep our eyes on Jesus. We need to spend time with Jesus first thing every day. Read a devotion. Read a few Bible verses, jot some notes in a journal about what you read, and then say a simple prayer to start your day. As the day goes along, take every opportunity you can to say more prayers. They don't have to be very long or use big words, they just need to help you keep focused on Jesus. When you take your eyes off Jesus and mess up, don't get discouraged, it's time to refocus. Say a simple prayer asking for forgiveness. God will give you another chance. And the more you refocus, the easier it will be to stay focused. We're all going to wreck it this week. Try as we might, we will all look at the waves and away from Jesus. Don't get discouraged. Get up and turn your eyes back to Jesus, knowing He will always forgive you. If wreck it, Peter can do it, we can too. Let's pray. Dear God, help us keep our eyes on Jesus. In your holy name, amen. Thank you for joining me. Have a great week.